there and welcome back to card number two um, on my strawberry special cards card class uh, my name's julie kettlewell i'm an independent stamping up demonstrator in west yorkshire in the uk and i run the paper haven okay so if you miss card one you can watch that again um but we're going to make card number two and i'm going to use this paper you should have a piece that's six inches by 12 inches and we're actually going to cut it down so you're going to turn pop it into your trimmer like this and you're going to cut it down to 14.8 and what we're going to do is we're going to make a card very much like one that we did at our event on um saturday and we're using this was with the um heart and home papers and we're going to do it with the strawberry papers so two of my ladies doing this class have already done this design but hey it went down well so we're going to score it at 10 we are cut scoring not cutting scoring it at 10 from one side and then we're going to flip it over and we're going to score it at 10 from the other side and what should happen is if you then fold this in and fold this in there we go you end up and it's good like this you end up with a slight overhang here oh look how that lines up it almost lines up there Ew. and it and it helps this not to get um not to get what's the word there's a gap here and it helps with the folding. So I've done it like that on purpose. I've not cut any down off from the 12 by 12. You could cut a little bit off if you wanted to, but I actually quite like having that um, little lip there. And just as it's worked out, the papers sort of line up, which looks rather great, doesn't it? What a happy accident that was. Okay, so what I've done is I've died. Now I didn't include these in the class, but you can just do this with your wax your basic white card you can cut a white rectangle for the front and you can layer this with some card behind it if you don't have um, a scallop die to use if you want to um, this measures approximately two and a half inches I'm doing this from the top of my head by um, three and three quarters so if you want to then do a, a layer behind it, it needs to be two and three quarters by four. But I'm going to use the scallop dies. I'm going to do, do that one there. And I am going to do the big one inside like that. OK, I thought it would work nice with these papers. Right, so we can put that to one side for now and we can work on our little design here. Right, so... Let's bring our mat in and you'd be pleased to know that I found my stamp cleaner solution. So I've cleaned my pesky stamp that was dirty. I'm going to take Pear Pizzazz and I'm actually going to use a stamp that I've not used today, which is this sort of background one here. going to work out how I'm going to do this. Mm. Yeah, I think I'll do it like that. I'm just going to stamp that there with that sort of going off there. Okay. And um, I don't know what stamp to put on the front because I might put happy birthday on the inside. So I might do just for you on the front. But anyway, in the meantime, let's do some strawberries. Now, so I've got some white left here. I think I only may need a couple, but I'm going to cut some more paper down, some more card even. Again, like we did last time, putting these at about four centimetres. And I'm going to grab my Poppy Parade ink pad. I'm 
and I'm going to stamp um, probably three, maybe. I can always use them for other projects. And then I'm going to fill them in with the filler stamp. Okay. And then we're going to grab that punch again. And I'm going to pop that in there like that. Punch that out. And we've got three lovely strawberries there. Let's work out how. I think, I think we maybe only need one on the front there. Because it just covers up the vine, if not. We'll use the others for the inside, I think. Yeah. And then, and then, and then. We're going to stamp that little... Where's it gone? Oh, no. Okay. Can you believe, and I could cry at this, <laughs> I now appear to have lost the other stamp. I've checked if it's stuck to anything. or oh, I've not checked my trimmer. Maybe it's stuck to my trimmer, the back of my trimmer. Nope. It's not stuck onto anything. So oh, I'm um, jinxed today. But don't worry because there's alternatives. There's always alternatives. So I cannot stamp the stalk because I don't have the other stamp now. Um, oh, goodness me. So the alternatives are we could cut one out from here. We could cut one out from here. Or we could take a piece of our scrap. And this is my template. I'm going to be a bit sneaky. And we could do a shape like that. It's not ideal. Well, you'll be fine because you won't have lost yours. But I can do that instead. Yeah. I can do my little stalk like that, which is not ideal. But until I find it, I've checked the floor, checked everywhere. Anyway, let's just carry on. It was wet. It was almost when I was look. This is the block that it was on, and it's it's vanished. It's not there. Never mind. Never mind. Let's stamp a greeting. Um, I was going to do just for you, wasn't I? Don't say that's not there either. I think that's there. I did check back in the stamp case actually. And it wasn't in here. I'm not having the best of days, am I? Okay, so I'm going to stamp that here. Just for you. There, like that. Now, if you want to, if you think it looks a bit bare, you could maybe stamp a little bit more of this going up. I'll show you what I mean. I'm just trying to see if this is this stamp stuck on anything else. What you could do is, if you move this over here to the edge, I could stamp some more sort of leaves up here, you know, just to make it a little bit more, fill it in a bit. Let's see, move this over to here. Like that, if you wanted to, just so there wasn't as much of a, a white, sort of space all right i'm not saying you need to pop another strawberry on um but yeah and you could even color those in if you wanted to what i'm going to do though is i'm going to layer this up for a little bit of interest because putting some foam pads on just just by popping a couple of foam pads on just layers it up and makes it just that little bit more interesting I can't believe I've lost that one as well. Could be under my lamp. I've not looked under my lamp. 
Anyway, I'm going to have a good look after I finish filming these videos. Goodness knows what I'll do for the next one if I lose something else. <laughs> oh, my word. So this would go on here like this. I do feel, though, like it needs a little bit of something else on the front, it, a little bit more colour. So what I'm going to do is these papers that you've got here, some of these flowers actually fit in the punch. So what we can do is we can manoeuvre and we can punch some of these out. So I'll have one of those pink ones. And we'll have a little blue one. See how they look. And I'm just going to pop them over that stamped bit there. And now I'm probably going to want to do that one. It's not right, hang on, I need two hands. There we go. There we go. And that just looks a bit cuter, I think. Yeah. I do feel like it needs something else, maybe some card around it to lift it. Um, or I could even colour these um, leaves in. Should we try colouring them in, see what it looks like? Should we try it? I might as well. This is just with the um, pale old olive, the light old olive stamping blend. I'm not spending too much time doing it. There's no blending. I'm not doing any of the blending. I'm just simply colouring it in. Grab a little yellow pen. Just saw one there in my box. Just give that a tiny bit of colour. Right, how's that looking on the screen? That looks all right, but I think it needs a little bit of a colour pop. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut a piece I think I'm going to use Poppy Parade, actually. I'm going to put a piece of Poppy Parade. It's like a tongue twister. And I'm going to cut it to two and three quarter inches by four. And I think I've got that measurement right. Hopefully that will look quite cute on there. Mm, yes, we'll have a bit of that. Oops. Then we'll glue that on to the front of the card and then add our flowers. I'm 
I'm going to take the glue to the flower like that and then pop that on like that. Whoops. Okay, doke. And then inside, I had stamped this. Yeah. So I'm going to do another vine one. Like that. I think I might just do one or I might do this. Just add need some scrap or something. It doesn't get on my desk just do that and then of course i need another <laughs> thingy stalk to go on there Now that's going to glue in here. Now I've not, obviously there's not a lot of room for a greeting. Um, you could do an extra panel or you could do panels on all three. I really wanted to stamp the happy birthday in here, but I'm realising I'm not leaving a lot of room for... Um, I'm just checking here if I've got it sort of equal at the side. Sometimes it's hard to see when it's folded, so I fold it up just to check. Sometimes it's hard to see where your score line is. So you might want to do the happy birthday inside here. I have cleaned this stamp now. There we go. So that's card number two. And that folds like that. Goes like that. Just bear with me. I've got a low battery message. So I just had to move my video. Move my camera to make, get rid of it. I'm hoping I'm still filming. I think I am. Right, since I had to pause my video to look for my stamp, I've no idea how long this video is. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop up the uh, last video at nine o'clock. Yeah, because this is cool. We'll start this one at quarter past eight. So I'll pop it on at nine o'clock for you. And I'll hopefully see you then. And I'm going to have a good look for my stamp now. <laughs> see you in a bit. Bye bye.